Charming Little Butterflies, and this video is going to be the Black Booktuber tag. So guys, I was tagged by two people to do this tag. I was tagged first by Brandy from Books with Brandy Shanae. And then I was tagged from I was tagged by Noria from Noria Reed. Um, I'm gonna link down below the profiles of people who tagged me and also the creator of the tag because I don't remember who made the tag, but I will link it down below in the description bar. So the first question is tell us a little bit about yourself. So let me make this quick. So I am a Louisiana Southern Belle. I'm 23, going on 24 this month on the 21st, July 21st, it's gonna be my 24th birthday. I have been doing booktube for almost five long freaking years, come August. And um, I am a, I'm a mommy to a very verbal, dramatic, uh, talkative, three-year-old who um y'all will see on this channel from time to time when i do caterpillar corner that's the videos i do just for her it's been a while but i am going to be bringing it back that's i didn't scrap it we just we haven't um met up on the right times <laughs> together for her schedule and um i read a little bit of everything so you'll see a good mix of different genre books on my channel from ya to historical fiction to romance to erotica which i don't understand why a lot of adult is considered erotica because they have sex and it don't mean it's erotica but whatever um non-fiction you know I, I read memoirs and biographies and comic books graphic novels middle grade i read a little bit of everything and children books because i read them with my three old so um, you'll see a good little mix of everything on here. I love poetry and that goes for reading and writing poetry. Um, I have a couple poetry videos up. It's been a while since I actually did a poetry video where I read my poems. So there's that. And just, I'm a really chill person, but I'm a very confrontational person. I have a very confrontational um, spirit in me. So I'm very calm, but I am that person that... I'm quiet, but I'm very protective over people that I call my friends and my family. So, when they won't tell you something, I will. Like, I will be the voice. And sometimes you would have to tell me, look, I got it. Like, shut up. <laughs> or, like, I will. Like, I'm just a protective person. Like, so I am um, confrontational. I'm quiet, but I'm confrontational. And there's a lot of us on this, on BookTube that is like that. I just, that's, that's my personality. But I'm a real chill person. I'm fun, I'm down to earth, like when you get to know me. Cause at first when you like you meet me in person, like I'm really quiet, but that's cause like I don't know you. <laughs> so don't take it personal, but that's just me. The second prompt is who's a black author you love and a lot of people don't know about. So I actually have two for this one. My first one is Nisi P. I love her. She is a adult paranormal romance writer. So I like I one of my best friends uh alicia she actually put me on to her like she made she gave she told me i should read um it takes a beast to tame her and it's a part one part two and a part three and then that's a series but all of her the books after that is like companions to this series they're still following the same people oh my gosh she's fucking amazing i love it she's from louisiana she actually lives in my hometown which i did not fucking know and i'm sitting here like have maybe i've seen her have i ever met this lady oh my gosh she's fucking amazing so her books are set in louisiana it's just so like reading her books is like um like a mirror for me it's like i get what she's saying i can hear the dialect and the stuff that she's talking about it's just i, I love her books her books make me read i could sit here and i could just bust out laughing for no read like bust just bust out laughing out loud like some books you get a little giggle you get a little smirk her books there's parts where it's just having you outright laughing to the people it's like oh, what's so funny like you have to read it to get it so i love her she's a very underrated um author i haven't heard her from anybody that i've been watching on booktube not to say that other people haven't talked about it i just haven't heard it. but i would love to recommend her if you are looking for paranormal romance and adult world that's very that gives you the feels like i love her books like she's so authentic like she's just honest as hell in her book so it's not sugar coated so if you're looking for that sugar coated like uh ya kind of romance thing going on this is not for you <laughs> it's not for you you have to put your big or your big girl panties on to read these books um and then another author is rudy francisco which i have talked about him on booktube before 
Um, he's he's actually a poet, but he does have books that poetry collections that he has published. But before that, I met him just not literally met him, but I kind of got to know him from YouTube because he's a, he does a lot of slam poetry, smoking word. Like he's like you can feel his poems when he speaks. It's like amazing and i love him so if you look up for somebody for poetry he is a really good author for poetry I also watch his videos on youtube where he performs his poetry he's fucking amazing the third prompt is a favorite book about the black experience so for this one i have more than one as well the first one is thick and other essays by tracy mcmillan it's actually a collection of um i don't want to say short stories it's not like that but it's like a memoir of things that she's gone things that she's gone through as a black woman and what black women go through and i enjoyed that collection a lot because like reading it is like you know what that is so fucking true like you just agree a lot and you find that relatability in it because it's like yeah we go through that especially saying how young uh black women are sexualized like little girls are sexualized at such a young age compared to white girls they'll have on the exact same thing but my black daughter would be told oh she looks too grown or that's too revealing and then a white child wearing the exact same outfit head to toe oh that's fashion she's a fashionista so i like that she goes through things like that from being a the things that young women go through all young adults and kids all the way up to you know older women the stigmatism that we face so i really enjoyed that and then also um a book that has been on book two is watch us rise by renee watson and ellen hagen i don't know if i never know if i pronounce her name right but this is a yai uh, a ya novel about pretty much feminism but we have two different authors that are writing two different characters one of them is um black she's a you know pretty heavy set girl and then there's this um irish girl that's just very much not the girly type that she should be and or what that society says she should be and it's about them going the struggles they face going through high school and the black character she faces because she's in this theater group and her theater teacher oh yeah you should give me more sass you know she she needs to be a sassy black character and it's like okay just because i'm black does not mean that i have attitude and i have sass because i'm black and she faces a lot of racial obstacles as well as body imaging obstacles as well throughout this book so i enjoyed that from a ya perspective as well okay then the fourth question is favorite book by a black author and for this one i went back to an oldie but it's a goodie it's like a book that i read like maybe at the end of middle school like maybe seven eighth grade or probably my freshman year in high school but this is like one of the first books like this that i had read and i hadn't read another book like covering the same stuff that this book did and that is like sisters on the home front by rita williams garcia and i love this book so fucking much like i just it follows i don't remember character names but it follows this girl she's 14 years old and she found herself she's fast you know like how we like to say and she found herself pregnant at 14 and her mom sent her off to live with a cousin who's a pastor and his daughter well a pastor and his wife and his daughter and to raise her baby because she's too fast there and it follows the the culture shock that she got being from where she lived you know in the hood with her friends where she could just run around and go do whatever to being in this strict household with uh, her cousin and the way and with the church life and religion and everything and how her cousin is bought up but at the same time her cousin has a secret side as well that her parents don't know about. She puts on this sweet face, but she's doing stuff too. And um, I just, I never had read a book like this being that age. And this was the first time I read a book like that because most books don't talk about teen pregnancies. And this is a book that I checked out from my school library. So I was just, this is one of the books that I can say kind of pushed me into reading more 
knowing that there were books out there like that and every every book wasn't boring and just stuff you would read at school so i really enjoyed this book and i would recommend this book i kind of want to buy it so i can go back and read it again and see how i feel about it now um but i enjoyed that book i would recommend that to people and i really can't wait until my daughter gets like to an older age where i can introduce her to books like this and be like this is why books are so important like you can read about any world here or in the future or whatever like it's it's an endless road to happiness reading books and she even says now nah, that she loves books and i'm like i'm so happy that you love books i hope you stay that way because a lot of times you know you get older and you like it's boring so i hope she keeps that energy then the next question is recommend a black and queer book now this one i'm not even gonna lie i have a little trouble with okay and it made me realize that i do not read a lot of books with queer characters or by queer authors i just i don't know like i don't i'm not even gonna lie and say i look for them because i really don't um i can admit that i don't really look for queer books now if it comes across me i'm like oh that sounds like a good book i'll read it i don't be like oh, i'm not reading it because it's you know it's it's a lgbt plus book it's just i don't look for it but if the synopsis sounds good you know i'll read it but the only books that i could think of that i had read <laughs> was I One Out by Nick Stone and I gave that a 3 out of 5 stars and then uh, Bingo Love which was like a graphic novel so those are the only two that I can really think of that I read and I probably have read other books that had queer characters in it I just can't pinpoint it but those are the only two that I can for sure remember that yeah I read those and it was queer characters um, but I do have some books on my list that I want to read that was already on my list of books to read for queer. So I'll just throw that out there. One was actually a memoir. It was um, Karamo, My Story of Embracing Purpose, Healing, and Hope by Karamo Brown, which is a, he's a part of the Fab Five. And I love i fucking love queer eye like i love that fucking show i really do so i want to read his memoir um i think anthony has a cookbook out that i want to check out i want to read their books because i think all of them wrote like a memoir so i want to read their books because i love them as a group like they are such a good group of like friends like fun that's one that i want to read and then i also want to read the sound of stars by alicia dow that was on my list. Um, Pet by Awaki and, and Mizu. I tried to say it fast so it sounded like I knew what I was saying. <laughs> but that one I've been seeing floating around booktube. So that was already on my list to read too. And then also um, You Should See Me in a Crown by Leah Johnson. Which I think that book just came out this year. I'm trying to decide if I want it as an audio book or if I want it as a physical book. I'm just not sure yet. And then I also have Full Disclosure by Cameron Garrett. Which is the book that came out last year. That's also been on my to read list i just haven't bought it to read the books anyway but those are the books that's in my near future that i do want to read and i do want to read more queer character books or books just by queer authors because i was looking and there's a lot of there's a lot of books about gay and i say gay because i mean like the men like gay men that are written by women and i just don't I don't know like I feel like if I'm gonna read a book about two men together or two boys together I want it to be written by another man or written by one I, I mean written by a boy or something you know what I mean I, I, I don't know but I guess that's one of the bigger problems that you know everybody's talking about is you know white people writing books about black experience like you that's not authentic we want it from that person's point of view which I get that number six is recommend a book with a black person on the cover and I actually have two of those one is Children of Blood and Bone by Tommy and Yami. I love that fucking book. I love that fucking cover. Like, I just... That is one of the most beautiful covers that I own. Like, I love that book so fucking much. When I read it, I enjoyed the fuck out of it. And I just... I love the fact that somebody... Like, the whole cast is black people. But, but somebody of darker skin to be able to wear white fucking hair. Bitch, that looks good as shit. Like, I don't think I can pull it off. But it looks good as fuck on the cover. Like, I love that book. And then the other book is the book that I bought up earlier, which is It Took a Beast to Tame Her by Nisi P. Oh, my God. Like, her covers are, the people on her covers are gorgeous. Okay? When I tell you gorgeous queens and kings, oh, my God. Like, y'all have to try Nisi P out. 
it start off start off with a it took a beast to tame her it's three books it took a beast to tame her one two and three and then go off to spinoffs okay because then it spins off into their children to other family members so just but start off with it took a beast to tame her okay like I, I just hope y'all love her as much as I love her. Like, I love this lady. Her books are amazing. I think right now I should be on her sixth book, I think, that I need to start reading. I think it's her sixth book. Because I read the first three and then, yeah, I think it is. But trust me when I tell you, try, try it out. And then the next one is recommend a book by a black author that makes you happy. And that is I Don't Belong to You by Kiki Palmer. Which is this book right here. I read this book, I think, um, maybe two years ago. Two years ago. But it's uh it's Kiki's memoir about from about her life in fame, starting from childhood on up to whatever she was when she wrote this book. I think like she was maybe 22 or something when she wrote this book. Well, when the book published. And it's just amazing. I have my tabs in it where I just, I love Kiki already as a person, but then reading more about her, this book just made me so happy because she talks about the ups and the downs and not just all business, her home life too, that incorporated into her business life, into the way she is now, into the woman that she has become from the child that she was. You know, she went on from just, you know, her home life with her family through heartbreaks and you know first loves and first heartbreaks and you know from getting her first chance in the camera to all the obstacles she went through to shows being canceled and stuff like that she just laid it all out on the table up to her met that she said she meditates and i think that's amazing because i know a lot of people don't do meditation and meditation is to me it's kind of intimidating because how do you know if you're meditating right but at the same time, it's kind of comforting because it's like this has to be one of the most relaxing things that you can do is just sit in peace and quiet and just focus on yourself and focus on your energy and just clear your head. So I just love this book. It really did make me happy reading this. I didn't feel... I'm sorry, that was thunder and I had plans <laughs> going to the park after this and reading and now I'm like, I don't know, it's not like it's going to rain but oh my god you guys i hope you guys read this and i said um I, i'll link the review up in in the i card and this book I, I i recommend this book to everybody but especially to you know young ladies like around you know 15 or 16 even 13 really like you know y'all just going through you know the young ladies that are going going through puberty like getting maybe just getting into high school and just trying to figure out you know boys and figure themselves out about you know who they are and what they want i recommend this book to them i really do like i enjoyed this book so fucking much like i really did then the next question is recommend some black booktubers which i kind of got um out of hand <laughs> when i saw this question and i probably put way more than a lot of people and what i should have but i'm just gonna run through their names and their channel's name because they're fucking awesome and you should check them out so I have Summer from At Book Times, Oshale from Oshi Reads, Olivia from I Live It For Books, Ash at Bookish Round, Brandy from Books With Brandy Shanae, Lucy at Lucy Reads, Latanya from Remind Me To Read, who is slowly making a return. She uh, went out for like a couple of months, but she's slowly making her return to booktube, so um, I recommend her. Kashawn from the Book Archer. She is one of like the oldest booktubers I've been subscribed to. I probably subscribed to her right around the time that I started making my booktube videos. So she is an oldie but a goodie for me. Um, Noria at Noria Reads. Haley from Hayden Books. India from Books and Big Hair. Who is also another oldie but a goodie that I've been fucking subscribed to since about the time that I started. And also Lucy too like they i've been subscribed to those three ladies like since i started booktube like they were a part of like the first handful of black people that i found on booktube india has also published a book she published her first book last year called the forgotten girl which is like a middle grade horror book uh, i'm still excited to read it was on my anticipated releases for last year but y'all know how i am like if you don't know you about to find out like i 
like be excited for books that are just coming out but i probably won't even read them for like another two years or so before i get to them and i don't know what it is like i'm excited to get them and i get them and don't read them for a while so i don't know maybe it's a mind trick thing that i'm doing that's like let the hype down down before you read it but yeah and then i also have shay i Shay from Books with Shay and also Chittima from Chittima Desiree. Oh, that was a mouthful. <laughs> so, like I said, I got I got a little bit carried away when I did that one. But the next one is Talk About a Book by Black Authors that's coming in 2020. I have two books for this. My first one is going to be a middle grade novel. I think it comes out September, sometime in September. And it's Maya in the Rising Dark by Rena Brown. And first of all, the cover is amazing. It seems like it's going to be a fantastical adventure. Magical adventure. A fantastical, magical adventure. That she's going to be going on a quest of sorts. And I'm excited. I cannot remember the whole synopsis of the book, but I'm excited for that book. Yes, I am. And then I have Smash It by Francina Simone, which I know um, had a little blow up on Twitter but i'm still excited for her book and it comes out in november no not november that come out in september too and y'all know i'm about supporting other booktubers um i feel like it's important for us to support each other and not just pick and cherry pick about who it is because i am excited for her release and yeah we're gonna keep it pushing so the last prompt is to tag some black booktubers so i pretty much want to tag everyone that i recommended their channels for that didn't do it already which i know was a couple two of the people i mentioned tagged me and then i think two more people i end up seeing their videos after so as of now i am tagging summer at summer times olivia at olivia for books ash at the bookish realm lucy from lucy reads latanya from remind me to read kashawn at the book archer india from books and big hair shay from books with shay and chitima from chitima desiree and that is all that i have for this tag thank you guys for tagging me i'm gonna link everybody's accounts down below in the description bar and i cannot wait to see you vid your guys videos if you did the video put your link down below so i can go and check it out or even if you did it on the blog post still put the link down below so i can go and see what it is and i will see you guys next time thank you guys for watching bye oh oh don't forget to like share and subscribe now bye